I bought that for you right after our first date because I knew that a woman like you only comes around once in a lifetime. If beauty is a weapon, then Georgia has always been locked and loaded. Hi there! Hello, my beautiful darlings. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day today and thank you so much for watching. Today, as you can tell by my a very smart outfit, we're going to talk about Georgia Miller in the TV show Genie and Georgia. Why does everybody on this show fall in love with Georgia Miller? I mean, I love her, so I can understand like her charm and her charisma through the screen. You can see it. And why Paul Randolph is the ultimate superior man. I mean, I am obsessed. And I did post a scene of the show on my TikTok when Paul is proposing to Georgia and everybody was like blown away of how masculine he is. Georgia Miller, I see you. I see how hungry you are. I see that it gnaws at you, that it keeps you up at night, and he doesn't see that. What do you want for yourself? It had 1.2 million views, and I don't know how many, like hundred thousands of likes, and all the women were saying how Paul is masculine, how it's so attractive what he says. And I really wanted to analyze his behavior and talk about him on this channel because it is so interesting to have an example on how to recognize the behavior of a true masculine man and also how to react in front of that behavior. I needed to do a video about them. And her, she's really like the femme fatale, the modern femme fatale, and I love talking about it on my channel. Know, as you know. Actually, you remind me of her. She's gorgeous and talented. I'm Mr. Officer. Well, I thought you'd never ask. So if you want to know more, keep on watching. But first, just wanted to let you know that if you want to see more of my content, I talk about fashion, femininity, old Hollywood glamour, movies, elegance, seduction, and anything to make you become a very feminine, elegant lady, anything to make you upgrade your confidence. If you to join the channel, the link is down below. Also follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok. So what makes Georgia Miller fascinating like that? And I think I need to explain a little bit of the show for the people that haven't seen it. And also to remind you what happened for the people that already saw it. Georgia Miller is the mother of Jeannie and Austin. So she's a single mother and, and she's raising her two kids uh, alone and from a long time because she got pregnant from her first child Jeannie and she was really really young when she got her she was 15 she always had to survive by herself she always had to find a way to find money find a way to survive and it's truly so interesting when you learn more about her story because you see this glamorous beautiful woman and you wouldn't imagine that she had such a tough story during her whole life and her childhood she was abused by her stepfather and she had to go away she was from a very very poor family she had to go away at 15 she got pregnant and she was not able to go to school she was not able to go to university like the others she had to survive by her own thanksgiving is time and a half which means we get to have fun things like food and electricity and we have to acknowledge all of that to know her full story and how she is, you know? The fact that afterwards you see her and she had to steal, she had to manipulate, she had to do all of this, but she was on her own. She had no family kind of protecting her. She had no father, no mothers. Like she was on her own and so she had to kind of adapt in this tough word which you know we can judge her on a lot of things that she does a lot of things that she does i don't agree a lot of things that she does i don't think you should steal i don't think you should manipulate i don't think you should also end the life of people because she does in the tv show like she does you also see her backstory and you root for her I, because you can have empathy for all the life that she had and how she had to survive by herself. So Georgia is like a modern femme fatale. She does everything she has to do to survive. Austin's dad's terrible. He's in prison. Prison? For what? Fraud. Embezzlement. Oh, don't worry. He was framed. How do you know? I framed him. Like she's a survivor. She wants to stop like 
constantly surviving and she wants freedom she wants to be in peace she wants to finally have her happy ending in a beautiful house with her kids and a beautiful husband like that's what she is looking for i want to feel secure enough to be truly free i have always been fighting for what's mine running from things just surviving i want to feel safe enough that i can just be free now she is able with Paul, you can see, to be in her feminine energy, to be more in the surrender aspect of the feminine, to be, oh, I'm relaxing, I'm finally feeling good and happy. Everybody's got their shit. And it's not the same shit. And I know you had a whole life before you met me, but nothing is going to scare me off here. I got you. She has somebody that can take care of her, like really that is protective. And I think that's what she wanted all her life. When you see how, when she was with Zion, when she was younger, he was still young also. And he was still kind of figuring out things for himself. Like he was not really ready to raise a baby with her. And it's completely normal. I mean, they were 15. And she was looking for a real man, a real masculine man, a provider. Like, she doesn't have a job. He's, like, all over the place. He wants to do photography. He wants to travel the world. But he doesn't want to be, like, in a stable relationship, stable home for raising Jeannie and taking care of Georgia. Like, he was not this man that you can count on. Then you had also Austin Father. I don't even remember what his name. I just dislike him so much that I don't even <laughs> remember his name. This guy should be in prison. He's really not a good example for Austin and I love Austin. He's so cute. Oh my god, he's such a, an adorable little kid and it, he makes me want to have a son. Like he's so cute and so protective towards his mother. I'm good. <laughs> Mom, stop! Oh my god, I hate you! Go away! Leave me alone! You're holding on to me! I said go away! Now we can talk about more in depth into like Georgia Miller and why she is so feminine, why is everybody so in love with her, why she's so charming and elegant. I mean, I want to talk about her style because her style is just iconic. I love it. I love all of her outfits. How do I look? There's not one single outfit that I dislike, even when she's just at home with her kids dancing in the living room, she's able to just look fantastic whatever she wears. You know, very elegant but effortless effect even when she's just at home and when she has to go to work she's wearing her beautiful suit tailor suit she wears feminine dresses. The evening dress that she wears at the casino, the black one, Oh my god, I love it. With the cutouts, it's just very elegant feeling, couture. She's constantly wearing blazers and that's what I'm wearing. This, like, I feel like she loves to have her beautiful jacket tailored. It gives her this effect of having her life figured out because she looks the part. She looks sophisticated. That's how she wants to feel, I feel like. Her life was always like really a roller coaster and I feel like the fact that she dressed like that now is to make her feel more confident and powerful and make her feel like no now I am okay now my life is is really amazing and now I'm this elegant woman that have an amazing life blazer tailored pants tailored skirts or sometimes even mini skirts her bags are always beautiful structured bags and I noticed she's wearing Chloe bags and coach bags um, which I think they're so elegant like her bags also match with her vibe everything matched all together like this sophistication beautiful when she's arriving in front of the school to pick up Jeannie and she has this beautiful hat the sunglasses and this beautiful white jumpsuit she looks so sophisticated Why is my card getting declined? George. And they cannot believe that it's her mother. You know, that's your mother. And that's the effect that I would want to have, <laughs> personally. <laughs> like, is that your mother? Like, to be that glamorous, you know? To pick up your kids and have, like, this amazing jumpsuit. I cannot wait to have kids and do that. <laughs> she has the most amazing tailored coats. I love it. Like, green, 
beige. On casual days, sometimes she can wear jeans, but she wears it in a beautiful way, in a very sophisticated way, because she would wear a jean and she would pair it with a beautiful, sophisticated top and a beautiful blazer jacket. You see at the beginning when she arrives and she is picking up uh, Austin in school, she's wearing this beautiful pink dress and she has her long blonde hair and she literally looks like a Barbie. I loved that look. I thought it was like a bombshell Elle Woods fantastic look and obviously all of the other mothers were like oh you look so young you look you don't look like you have a teenager as a kid and I feel like maybe they were a little bit jealous of her because she looks so good but at the beginning she has that kind of a little bit sexy style to kind of attract and she also kind of attract Paul in that way I mean we know that when she was hired it was not a coincidence it's crazy how she does everything with such feminine energy but at the same time she goes for what she wants she was hired by Paul she kind of like bumped into him and they met and at this moment she was like oh no let me offer you lunch you know like on purpose so everything was on purpose. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so clumsy. Are you okay? Georgia. I'm Paul. I can't believe this is the first impression I made. So she kind of placed herself at the right time, at the right moment. And also she made sure to be hired by him. Like she wanted to have a job, obviously, but at the same time to be hired by him. He's very handsome. He's an eligible bachelor. I mean, she did a good job at placing herself well to be noticed by him. All right, Georgia, you win. Anyone who can make Cynthia that happy is a force to be reckoned with, so can you start Thursday? Well, I thought you'd never ask. And obviously, he does fall in love with her and is crazy about her. It's because she has a, ma a magnetic energy. I have a lot of beautiful women in this world, but she has something that is different. She has a certain energy. Lemonade lemon pie and lemon meringue yeah and a delightful lemon jello <laughs> and i feel like the thing that i noticed the most is her playfulness she's very playful like she's never about like too serious too much about the drama she is playful making jokes having a smile on her face all day long she's smiling constantly it's kind of unpredictable she goes with the flow you know she's this kind of free spirit she dance in the living room she's having fun you're having fun with her you forget a little bit about your day and that's what men adore they adore this kind of playful energy of you know being happy and being a little bit like childlike energy they love it because they're spending the whole day worrying like working with other people being too serious and when they come home and they have this playful bubble of joy beautiful woman like she's beautiful and full of joy full of happiness then oh my god it's so refreshing and they become addicted to that she's easygoing wait are we deep frying twinkies you haven't lived until you've deep fried a twinkie Engrave that, put it on my tombstone. She doesn't take everything too seriously. I mean, even sometimes she has to with Jeannie, for example. Jeannie is like unbearable. I cannot. <laughs> oh my God. Jeannie doesn't make me want to have like teenagers. Hi, Mr. Officer. What was with you? Hi, Mr. Officer. You sound like a bad porn. I could use a good bat down. Been a while. But Georgia, she laughs, she's making jokes constantly. She's very funny. She is sarcastic. This place is busier than a weatherman in a tornado. She looks terrible. Be kind. How would you look if your husband was dying? I look amazing. And you know, the feminine energy is the energy that's going with the flow, that is playful. So I feel like she's fully there. She's fully there, even though she has her dark feminine. She has the spiciness. She has the little bit of I know what I'm doing of the femme fatale. I want you gone. Why are you smiling? She has the sarcasm. She has the 
she's very observant she can observe people know the situation sometimes take advantage of certain situations for her you tell paul you rob him of plausible deniability only legal recourse he has how do you even know legal recourse who's teaching you these words oh to have an advantage but she does it in such a flowing way very much unbothered like that and when she wants something she gets it and that's it she has the seductive aspect of the femme fatale she has the you know this aura of seduction like just when she looks at you uh, mm -hmm. my closet uh-huh I thought it was time for you to move in. Set up shop, Mr. Mayor. When she goes to the cafe and she goes to see Joe, she's like a little bit flirty, you know? Joe, 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 Joe. I need help only you can provide. And he's uh, completely mesmerized by her. And I like him too, but I don't think he's fit for her. She needs a strong masculine man, like somebody that can handle her. And I think that Paul is the man she's also very authentic she's herself she says whatever she wants to say and you can feel that she's coming out of her like that you know like she's very natural exactly mm. bring a few things over hang some stuff up not those weird pockety cargo pants i plan on burning those well, they're not going anywhere then later we can sit them down and make the big move and announce me. Like, and it's, it's very addictive to men and to everybody around her. You want to be around that kind of person that is authentic, that is natural. She's just herself and she's confident about it. Actually, you remind me of her. She's gorgeous and talented. I mean, she does whatever she wants to do and she says whatever she wants to say, even though sometimes it makes her have problems. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying everything she does is right. Like, she does a lot of things that you shouldn't do. I mean, no, Georgia. She's real, even though she has a lot of secrets, but she's real. She's uh, authentic and that's what makes her so attractive. She is also very caring and protective for the people that she loves. She would do literally anything for her kids absolutely anything and i think that's why also we love her so much them against the world that's what she says to them i'm mad i'm mad at you i'm mad at myself i'm just mad it's okay it's okay to be mad mm -hmm. i'm mad at you too if it makes you feel any better and that's like the nurturing loving caring aspect of the feminine is very strong with her she's highly feminine in that way that in a way that she does even crazy things to protect her and her kids. And if you get her pregnant, I'll kill you. She can flirt. She is the type of woman that can flirt. She is the seductress. Eye contact, you know, very confident. When she enters any room, she has a big aura that magnetizes the room. She can possess the room when she arrives. Mystery, obviously, she is very mysterious. Obviously, I was saying how authentic she is, but at the same time, she is authentic in a way that is just like in front of people, like you can feel that she says whatever she wants to say with confidence and she doesn't shy away from things. But at the same time, you can feel that she has a lot of secret. And I mean, she doesn't translate it. Nobody would even think that she had that many secrets. Even Paul, when she tells him all the secrets that she had, I mean, she didn't tell him everything, but she told him a lot of her secrets. He was blown away. He could not even imagine, like behind all of this beautiful princess, uh, elegant facade there's a lot of secret and she does a good job at hiding it okay we have now to talk about Paul because I am a little bit obsessed with him there are certain characters on TV that when they make them super masculine like that it makes you like oh my god it makes you just you're, you're just obsessed it made me the same effect when they did like anthony and bridgerton her relationship with paul like they met in a cafe as i said he is obviously the mayor but this man oh wow he is very masculine and protective towards her and at the beginning when they kind of courting and you know she kind of placed herself 
in a way that they're working together and he's impressed by her and how she is and how she's very intelligent like he can see that she's beautiful but he is even more impressed by the fact that she's highly intelligent like that and he does not hesitate a second to be with her you have this scene when he's like you think i'm gonna let this real estate agent not make me date the woman that i'm crazy about and he's like, I don't care. I'm the goddamn mayor of Wellsbury. And I am not going to let some uptight real estate agent tell me I cannot date a woman that I'm crazy about, yes? Yes. Well, then frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. And she was like, oh my God. Crap, that was a hot thing to say. Fully the masculine, going for what he wants and just being sure about it and doesn't have any hesitation and just being like, I don't care. Nothing can stop him, literally. I've got history. Exactly, that's all you have. Zion is your past, he is not your future. Just like a Disney prince would fought for a dragon, he would literally fight for a dragon for her. Like, I just feel that vibe. That's why I love Paul, you know? I bought that for you right after our first date because I knew that a woman like you only comes around once in a lifetime. Zion, at some point, he was like, I want to be with you, but then the next day, he went away. Like, no, he doesn't let go. You know, that's the masculine, the real, raw masculine. I mean, she told him everything she did in the past. He forgets her for it, and then he defends her against her ex. Can't do that. I don't care who you are. Oh, I'll tell you who I am. I'm Paul Randolph. I am the mayor. You are in my town. And I will tell you right now, you will not be getting any of my money. He's like, now, if you want to talk to my wife, and if you want to talk to my stepson, you have to talk to me first, which is so masculine, so protective. You can feel this protective energy around him that he wants to take care of her. From now on, if you want to see my stepson or speak to my wife, you do so through me. This is really what she needs. She needs that. She needs that protection. When she meets his parents and his parents doesn't approve of her, he's like, he's defending her. He's like, I don't care. I love her. I don't care what you think. I'm going to marry her. Also, he said to her, like, when they enter the house of his parents, she's like, oh my God, it's such a beautiful house. And he says to her, I'm going to build you a house like that one day. Like, he wants to take care of her. He wants to spoil her. At the end, when she got arrested, he immediately takes charge of the situation. That's how you recognize a masculine man. When you have a problem, he takes care of it. He immediately takes care of it. He's not like, uh, you will figure it out, you're a strong woman. No, he takes care of it. He go into protective mode saying, I am in the car behind you, I'm calling my lawyer, I'm taking care of everything, don't worry, Georgia, I'm here for you. Listen, I will call the lawyer, he will meet us there, and I will be right behind you. Georgia, I will be right behind you, okay? I'll be right there. I really needed to talk about him and to talk about Georgia because I think they're really a good example. She's a good example of a feminine woman she expressed her femininity she obtains a lot of things through her magnetic charm and he is a real great example of like a true masculine man and if netflix dares to ruin paul in the next season and to make him a villain i am going to lose my mind i i will not like it like no don't ruin paul he's too perfect I love the fact that they get married. I love her wedding dress. It was stunning, stunning, stunning. Suits her beautifully. Um, it was such a magical scene. Ruined at the end, obviously, but like it was such a magical scene. How he looked at her when she was going on the aisle at the wedding, I was so like, this is so cute. He truly loves her and she truly loves him. Let me know what you think of this TV show. Let me know what you think of Georgia. Let me know what you think of Paul, if you are team Paul like I am, because I mean, if you weren't, maybe I convinced you. And also tell me if Jeannie is also as annoying for you as she is for me. <laughs> I mean, I would watch the show just for Georgia. That's it.
<laughs> thank you so much for watching my beautiful darlings i hope you liked it and i hope it was helpful for you i hope you had fun watching the video and also don't forget to follow me on my instagram and on tiktok until next time i'm giving you so many kisses and take care of you Mwah.